Hi guys, thanks for joining me today. Today I wanted to drop in and show you my new natural look. Really pretty. It's it's sort of just been lightened about, I don't know, about two inches from the roots. This color representation is like a number six. And um, just to let you know guys, this is not my natural hair. This is a wig that was sent to me by divaswigs.com. And I absolutely love this hair. I am in love with this wig. This is 100% Remy hair and it's been processed to look like natural hair. The hair texture is silky. It started out silky and after the dyeing process and the process that makes it look natural, this is the result. This hair is really soft. It's almost tangle free. I mean, if I run my fingers through it, of course I'm gonna get it's going to be locked because that's what natural hair does but there are no knots this doesn't knot up and it's not like all locked when you comb it it doesn't it doesn't do that at all it's sort of like natural hair um, guys I absolutely love this this is a glueless cap wig and another thing I love about this wig it's very forgiving like for example you don't have to go crazy making that part and then you know putting the concealer on the part and on your hairline. You don't have to do that. You just sort of wear a light colored wig cap underneath. Put it on. You can put it slightly behind your hairline. That's what I did. And I just pulled a little bit of my own hair out of just a little bit just to cover the edge of the lace. Now this wig does come with baby hairs but I wanted to use the baby hairs and my own natural baby hair to sort of give it an authentic look. And so I think I did pretty good because you really cannot see the edge of the lace. And that's what I did. And again, there's the part with the light colored wig cap on underneath. Now I'm going to run through what you get from Diva's Wigs. If you order this hair, what's going to be inside the box. Okay, so when you receive your wig, it's going to be in a box just like this. And Inside very quickly. I'm going to run through it. You're going to get your wig. This is your wig. It's inside of a clear plastic bag. Also, you'll get a little comb, guys. This comb for me, you know, I don't use this, but if you have a little girl you want to give this to, you know, you can do that. It makes a great comb for a little girl. Also, inside, there's a netted wig cap. I love netted wig caps. These caps allow your scalp to breathe while you're wearing your wigs. These are some of my favorite. Inside again is the information on your order. And also if you need to by any chance, your mailing slip is available for you to, you know, send back your wig. So let's gonna look at the wig. So again, this is the wig. It's inside of a clear cellophane bag. I'm just taking it out and looking at it. And we're going to look at it together. Hair net. I'm going to wash and condition this wig. I like to wash my wigs. This is the hair. So it's very natural hair. It's supposed to be tangle free. It seems to be tangle free. Okay is nice. I like the color. I like the fact that it looks natural. So this is like um, something new for me that I'm trying. Let's look at the inside of the cap. This is a glueless cap wig. You got three combs. One on each side just above the ear. One in the center and there is no comb in the back at the nape area. It also has adjustable straps as you can see. I hope you can see it. Adjustable straps and here's the lace. And this is the only lace you have to cut off and that's right at the front hairline of the wig. I washed the wig before I did anything to it. I washed the wig in the nourishing coconut milk conditioner. It was like a co-wash that I did. This is by Organics. This is really nice if you just want to just give a light washing to a new wig that you just ordered. 
I, I like this of all the organic conditioners. This is my favorite. Plus, the wig smells absolutely beautiful. This is a beautiful scent. It has a beautiful scent. And the wig still smells like that too, which I really love. But by me pulling on it and stretching it a little bit, it starts to get bigger. If you wash the wig again, it'll all kind of shrink back down to its, its original state that it comes in. Again, let me just show you the natural curl. This is what the curls really look like. And what I did was, you see that nice natural looking curl? What I did, I just kind of pulled it apart with my fingers. And also, I used my Denman brush. I used this brush, and this is the my new Denman brush. I'm gonna be using this on my own natural hair to help detangle. This is the original Denman brush. And this is the new one. As you can see, it has less bristles. And this one, it's not to not supposed to break off your natural hair as maybe as much as this would. So I'm going to be using this on my natural hair also. But what I did with this was I just gently kind of just pull the curls apart or separate them with this brush just by doing this motion. Now, if you want to, you can you can start at the ends and open it up, make it really bushy if you like. Again, once you wash it, it definitely will, it will kind of shrink back down to its natural state. Here, right here, again, are a couple of curls that I left in this natural state. I'm going to just run the brush through so that you can see how to separate it. And as you can see, you see it's not even tangled, but it just loosens up and becomes almost like nice natural afro hair. It's really, this is so pretty. And that's what I did to the whole wig. That's how I loosened it up. It did take me some time to do it. This wig has a lot of hair. It's medium density, 100% medium density. Oh, uh, I know I didn't mention, this color is a 1B. This is the 1B, the dark part, and the lighter part is a number six. And I think you can get this custom color. You can get this part in a number four if you want, or you can go lighter, you can, Talk to the representatives about that if you want this really light, very blonde. I love this a lot. And this absolutely looks, to me, this looks authentic, it looks real. It doesn't look like a wig, not at all. This hair is very soft. When I washed it, it got even softer. And I just keep playing with it just to pull it apart, just to show you Look at that, look at all this hair you get. And if you don't want it long, all you have to do is just spray a little water, a little conditioner on it, get it nice and wet, and let it dry naturally, and it'll start to kind of take back on this natural curl pattern. It'll go back into its natural curl state, and it'll become a little bit shorter. And then you can pull it out or leave it big. I like it big. So I really think I did a good job with the hairline. I mean, it looks so natural. Like Again, like I said, it's very forgiving. You don't have to get crazy with the hairline. Yeah, guys, so that's it for this week. I'm got, I have a lot of information in the description section, so please check it out. There'll definitely be a link to this wig, and it'll be more of a product description in case I left anything out because I was so excited by this wig. I know I didn't tell you all the details. Okay, guys, so take care. And I'll see you at the next video. Bye-bye.